Hey guys, Lego Man 7777. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, I didn't use a shortened version. Whatever. Good lord, Sonny. Could you take a longer drink? Anyway, I'm doing a tutorial on the Republic Swamp Speeder. As in all the other ones, the person who requested it will be right here. So, let's see. We're going to just build our peeps like we normally do. Unless you're a weird Lego builder and don't build your peeps. But usually you build your peeps. So, um, I'm pretty excited tomorrow. If my store has it, I will be going to pick up Mace Windu Starfighter. Which is pretty cool. I know some of you have been waiting for a review on that set in a very long, for a very long time. And I've been waiting to get it since, you know, December. So it's kind of irritating, but I'm glad it finally came out. Uh, I guess I should just, you know, since I'm building the people and I take a couple seconds to build the people. Um, I'm just going to tell you the prices and piece counts for all the new sets if you didn't already know. Uh, Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter, 78, 68 is the number. It's got, I believe it has 309 pieces. Now, I've seen some box images that say 313, so I don't know for sure, but I'll wait until we, till I get it, and then you'll find out. Uh, okay, and is, um, 39.99 here in the U.S. All the prices will be for the U.S., and then uh, there is, um, done with the peeps. Then there is uh, the 7877 Naboo Fighter, which is 318 pieces and is $49.99. And then there's 7879, which is the Hothico base, which is um, not out just yet. And it'll be $89.99 and has 773 pieces. And I'll continue on with that, but we're going to start building. Okay, so we start out with this huge curvy piece. We're going to flip it upside down. We're going to take this uh, fourth of a, a quarter of a circle. And we're going to take a black 1x2 groove, plate, uh, groove brick. Or decorative brick, however I said it in the last one. So nothing new yet except for this gray part. Otherwise, we've used them all in a slave one. Now we need a 1x3 slope upwards and we need I believe this is a 1 by 10 plate yeah I'm pretty sure it's a 1 by 10 and then we're gonna finish this little section off with a Technic 1 by 6 brick and that's just gonna clip on just like that and there we go and uh, now we're gonna do the same thing so I'm just gonna build that real quick na, 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 na. Oh, I can continue actually. Then we had, you know, the Ewok attack, 79.56, um, 166 pieces will be 20 is 25 dollars, along with the Sith Knight Speeder, which is 79.57 and it has 214 pieces. So we got this done. And now since we've got to flip it, we're still in the back. That's just kind of odd. We're going to take two 2x3 two plates. And we're going to put them right here. I really hope I finish this video in one, with one video. I don't want to have two parts for this set. And then we're going to use four 1x2 plates. But that's after we use a 1x6 plate. I forgot about that. And now we're going to just uh, put two one by two plates right here. And then uh, we're going to put two on top of the previous two. Just like that. And we need another one by ten plate in black. And that's just going to easily go right there. Almost dropped it. Just like that. Alright, so we're still not done with the bottom. 
And we're going to take uh, four 1x3 plates in the dark red color. And we're just going to space those out evenly. All right. Now we're finally going to flip this over. And we're going to use a 1x4 brick. Light gray. Right there. Alright, so now we need a uh, black Technic 2x10 plate, which is going to just fit on right there. And we're going to use another 1x6 plate, which goes over it. And I think we need a 2x12 plate. Yeah, 2x12. And this is going to go right here. And then we need two, we haven't used these yet, two um, Technic pegs that are not blue, they're the peachish color. They're looser, so they, they spin free. Alright, and then we're going to use uh, two of these um, finisher pieces. I don't know what to call those. But they're, they're just like circle pieces, but they finish up like that. And then we need another 2x3 plate, which goes there. Now we're going to flip it over again and use another 2x10 Technic piece. Oop, sorry, I bumped the camera. And that's just going to go on like that. Uh, and we're going to flip it over again, and then we need a 2x6 plate. Which is just going to clip on right there. It's very simple. Now we need another um, groove, a decorative brick, I mean. Just like that. And then we need a 1x4 plate, which goes just like that. So, so far, we look kind of weird. Now, we need um, two of these and uh, two of these. So, we're going to flip it, and we're just going to put them on like this. And I don't quite remember how these go on. Oh, they just clip on like that, I guess. So then we need to make a second one. And that just goes on. And then we flip it over. Now this set I thought was cool because it uses weird building things that LEGO normally doesn't do. We're going to want to... Uh, text message. We're going to want to take four more 2 by one plates. And we're going to... Here's the weird part is we're going to put them at an angle. We're doing uh, yeah angular building, which is different for Lego. And now we're going to flip it back over and use two of these, which are smaller than the previous two we just used. And they're just going to go right here like that. And now we're going to use this new-ish piece. I don't know if it's brand new, but I haven't seen any pieces like this before. And it... Fits snugly right there. We're right, giving the swamp speeder some definition. Now we need three two by one plates with only one stud. And uh, they're just going to go right here down the middle. And uh, we need two one by three plates. All right, just like that. Uh, now we're going to go on the back and work on the chairs, or the controls. So we need four antennas, solid black antennas. And, um, well, I forgot to put a piece on. We need a 2 by 6 which my bad goes right here. So you're going to want to put these antennas on. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of antenna pieces because they are flimsy and they love to break off but they fit nicely with this set so and I'm not complaining about it I mean I'm not complaining when you ever use them but whatever and then you use four of these little feet pieces oops sorry four of these little feet pieces and everywhere you put an antenna you're gonna put one of those little feet slope pieces in front of it just, oops, 
select all of that. We're going to do that. Now we're going to take the computer panels, which is a 2x2 two two triangle, and put it like that. And we need both chairs, which go just right in front of it. In my opinion, the chairs look so cool in this set because they just decked out the chairs so much. Now we need this, another 2x2 two two triangle brick, but this time you have to end up apply the sticker, and it's going to go right here in the middle, and you need two 1x1 one one Technic bricks, and they're going to go right here, right here. I believe we're done with the back for a while, so I'm going to flip it like this. And then we need a 2x3 triangle, which looks just like this. And we're just going to put that right there. Alright, and now I believe we're just going to tile. We need two 1x3 tiles. Dark gray, and put them like that. And then we need a 1x2 triangle, which goes here. And a 1x1 one one Technic brick. I believe, yeah. One by one Technic brick goes right there. Now we're going to build the function, which is the Technic y part of this set. So we need one of these pieces, which we used in the Slave 1, two more little axles. I mean, little Technic pegs, but the peach color. You don't even get blue ones in this set. Then you're going to want to take this Technic piece and put it. Oh, my bad. Not like that. You're going to want to flip it the other direction so the uh, other Technic peg goes down. Then you're going to want to take a second one of these big axles and you're just going to connect it to those other Technic pegs that we just put there. So we have this going on. Then we're going to want to put a four axle just like that. And now we're going to take a 5 axle, which is gray, and not this piece, and this piece. And then we're going to just put this, make this shape. And we're going to fit that in there, just like that. There we go. So now we're going to take two little Technic uh, pieces, you know, the little circle pieces that are little. And we're going to put two of those right there. And um, that's it, I believe. Then we're going to just connect it to the swamp speeder. Now this is going to go right there. You can see through the swamp speeder. So that's where it's going to go. And it just fits in there like that. And you flip it over. And you're going to want to take two more of our little circle pieces that we just used. But not yellow. They're going to be gray. And we're going to put those little circle pieces on to keep that Technic stuff together. So, just like that. And we got all that Technic junk together. Now we're going to take another one of these pieces that we just used. And we're going to put it on the back. Just like that. And we want a hinge piece. Which is going to go right there. Uh, now we're going to build the front turret holder. So you're going to want to take this piece and um, you're going to want to put a three axle in it. And then you're going to want to use two of these gray pieces. Gray Technic uh, connectors. And you're going to do that. And then this is going to go on that black, uh, the little black axle you have left. Now we're going to flip it over again. I was going to say rotate, but we're not rotating. And we're going to take uh, this piece, which we use for the frigate landing gear. I'm going to put a big Technic peg in there. Again, peach color. And uh, a wheel. And then another one of those. To make the, the wheels for this. And these are just going to clip on to this 2x3 plate we have just like that now I'm going to build another one of those real quick I'm going to 
do it a little differently than I did before. I like to drop things. Okay. And that just goes right there. So then we have the wheels on. Now we're going to make the front wheel. So we take a six axle and our favorite little circle Technic pieces. A lot of Technic in this set. And um, a wheel. I'm just going to slide that on there like that. Then we're going to take this red Technic piece. Put it like that. Then we're going to want to take this black Technic piece. We all know what this looks like. And we're going to put it like that. It's kind of weird, but we're going to just follow for now. Then we're going to take another one of those red connector pieces we just used. And we're going to push it on there like that. Then we're going to put our last wheel and another gray piece, I believe, is what is going to finish off the wheels. So just like this. Yeah, I was right. And then this black axle that we have left, you're going to want to angle it. And then you're going to want to put it on the black axle. So now that you're steering... Okay, now we're going to build a fan, or the engine. You're going to want to apply your stickers to this turbine piece, which we saw in the Bounty Hunter gunship. And take your fan blade and just clip it on there. And then this just simply goes on the axle. Don't put it on the peg. The second one, the second turbine is going on the peg. And then we're going to take a little blue peg. I'll put that in there. And now this part's kind of weird. We're going to take a gray lightsaber blade and this piece that we used earlier. Put it like this. And then we're going to put it in this little blue peg. Again, I like this set because of the fun building stuff we do. Then we're going to take another blue peg and put it on top of the first turbine with the stickers. And two gray axles. And we're going to put those in here. And now we're going to simply put on the holders for the missiles. So just like that. And one r dark red hinge piece. Which goes on like that. Now that's going to rotate, but for now don't mess with that. Now we're going to take this armor plating, which you apply two stickers to. And uh, we're going to put this black piece in there along with the 2x3 and uh, a black peg and then you're going to put it right there in that Technic spot that's where it, you seem to fit I'm going to knock off the antenna but you're going to just clip that in and then rotate it now we're going to do the other one real quick same way same pieces apply it and rotate them however you see fit. Now we're going to build, um, well I'm going to do the missiles first because I believe you should do the missiles now. You're going to put a red stud on a flick fire missile piece and then put this piece on it. And those are your flick fire missiles. And I already did it wrong. I'm going to do it again. Now you gotta do this four times. It's a little tedious. I don't care though. I like sets. I kind of like the fire missiles. I mean, they for kids they're great because it adds playability to sets. So then the parents don't feel too bad for spending mo this much money on stuff. But okay. Now our last bit of pieces we're gonna use. We're gonna take a one by six flat plate and a one by four plate, and we're gonna. Put it like that. Then we're going to take two light gray hinge pieces and put them above it. And then we're going to finish this off with a 1x8 tile. And then we're simply going to take this little gray, dark gray hinge piece, clip it on there. And we're going to clip this whole thing onto this hinge that we put there. Then you're going to fold it down 
and we're going to finish it off with a uh, gray lightsaber blade and you fold the dark gray hinge piece down and you make the lightsaber blade clip onto the red hinge and that's it for the Republic Swamp Speeder um, I don't remember what's next but you guys will find out thanks for watching